We've completed one of the largest renewable energy projects in the National Trust. This hydroelectricity generating site will be producing more electricity than all the properties we have here in Wales use for lighting. I'm really proud that we've created a legacy for the next hundred years in producing clean energy. But the bit I'm most proud about is being able to do an awful lot of work in such a sensitive location. One of our measures of success has been that you can't see we've done any work. What we've actually built in practical terms is we've got a mile of pipe um, that we had a helicopter up the mountain. Down in the valley bottom we've got six tonnes of steel that goes round and round that generates electricity and high up on the mountain we've built a small weir which is basically just a, a, a filter, a way of getting water into the pipe. The technology has been really clever and smart and exciting, but it's actually been part of a team delivering a fantastic project, but in a stunning place. One of the big players in building in such an environment has been the weather, and we've had a stunning summer, which has helped us a lot. And now that it's started to rain again, it's almost like a per it's the perfect ingredients for a hydro. This farm, as so many other hill farms in Wales, uh, it is facing an uncertain time in the sense that farm support is declining and renewable energy effectively is a new cash crop for us. It, we, we're limited in what we can do and renewables really have given us uh, a secure future. But the National Trust isn't uh, a power generating company, it's a conservation organisation and by actually generating our own power, not only do we help with the whole sustainability agenda, but we will also generate income which will further our conservation work.